Miriam and Aaron started to question Moses because he had married a Cushit woman. They wondered, hasn't God spoken through us too, not just Moses? God heard their words. Moses, known for his exceptional humility, was called by God along with Aaron and Miriam to the meeting tent. God descended in a cloud pillar and summoned Aaron and Miriam. He told them, when I speak to prophets, I use visions and dreams. But with Moses, it's different. He is faithful, and I speak to him directly, not in riddles. He even sees my form. Why then did you dare to speak against him? God's anger flared against them, and he departed. When the cloud lifted, Miriam's skin was as white as snow, a sign of leprosy. Aaron saw her condition and pleaded with Moses, Please don't hold our foolish sin against us. Don't let her be like a stillborn child. Moses, in his compassion, cried out to God, Please heal her. God responded, If her father had spat in her face, wouldn't she be in disgrace for seven days? Let her be isolated outside the camp for seven days, then she can return. So, Miriam was kept outside the camp for seven days, and the people didn't move until she returned. Afterwards, the people left Hazaroth and set up camp in the desert of Paran.